Warriors. We are so excited to see you next week and wanted to give you a heads up of what to expect when you get here. So if you come in the front entrance, you'll see there are there are tents set up and there are white lines going down the sidewalk and they're about six feet apart. When you get here, you'll get in line, have your temperature taken, have some answer some screening questions, and if all goes well, you'll come in and walk directly to your block one class. Let's go inside. As you can see, it looks pretty much the same, except there's some really cool arrows on the floor telling you which way you should be going. There's also signs around that tell you to remember to wash hands frequently. So when you come in and you're going to your first block class, if it's in the D-Wing, everybody's going down the first hallway. We're gonna follow the arrows. And we're gonna remember to walk far apart. We don't need to buddy up too close as we walk down the hall. And we're gonna walk to our first block class. And once we get there, we're gonna get in our seat and we're gonna hang out. And once class starts, we'll get to meet everybody and learn some cool stuff. As you can see, Mr. Clark's room, the desks are really nicely physically distanced. There's some hand sanitizer on each desk. And after each class, the seats and desks will get wiped down. After block one, you're gonna follow the arrows to your block two class. We decided not to have home run for now. Hopefully at some point we'll add that back in. But after block one, you're gonna go right to your block two class. And say you are Mr. Clark's and you need to go to the guidance office. Guess what? You're gonna get to walk all the way around because we gotta remember to follow the arrows. Once you get to your block two class, you'll have a time opportunity to take a break and have a snack and listen to announcements and then block two will start. As you can see, the library is a little bit different. The tables are pretty far apart and there's some new classroom space built in. One of the really cool things about a school with no walls is we can move the partitions and make all the spaces better. Here's another example classroom that has some desks and some tables, all spaced six feet apart. Another really nice thing about the school is we have lots of really nice outdoor space. And I know teachers will be, oh, I gotta follow the arrows. I know that teachers will be taking students outside as much as possible. When students get to their third block class, that's where lunch will happen. And after lunch, your class will start. And then after block three, you'll walk directly to your block four class. And remember to follow the arrows, wash your hands a lot, and hand sanitize. It's gonna take a little getting used to, but I think pretty quick, you all be realize how easy it is to follow the arrows, keep your space, and enjoy being back in this awesome building.